Hello and welcome to Star Citizen Sunday. This is a weekly show which covers all the news from Star Citizen from the week just past. I am your host, Mac, so let's get on with it. This week, we see how Artcore and its moons are coming along. We get a little insight into how the new flight model throttle is going to work, plus the latest on the 3.5 progress. So before we begin, just a quick 3.5 realm map update. This week, they have added quite a few new tasks to many areas of 3.5. There is still two months to go and progress is looking pretty good. So I'm quite confident they will reach these further tasks. But there are still a couple of areas that are yet to begin production and saying that they're in scheduled. So there's still a chance that a couple of features may slip. But personally, I'm happy with the progress. And if these features do slip into 3.6 or beyond, it wouldn't be too much of a problem for me. Now, CIG said last week that we shouldn't expect to see a 3738 for this last Friday's roadmap. So hopefully this week, however, I wouldn't hold your breath. It could be another couple of weeks, maybe three weeks yet. If you want to know exactly what has changed on the roadmap, however, do check out the link below to my weekly roadmap update video. So on Around the Verse this week, there was a new flight model control update. They used CitizenCon feedback to address the controls, specifically using the throttle controls for the HOTAS. Going forward with 3.5, the default for the throttle is if you have the, the throttle positioned at half throttle, that equals 0% thrust. If you push it forward all the way, this will achieve 100% forward thrust. If you pull it all the way back, this will achieve 100% retro or reverse thrust. This, I think, works well if you have a specific throttle that has this indicator or a notch to, to recognize where the halfway point is. However, my throttle doesn't have this, so it'll be interesting to see how it feels for me and whether I will look for another option. They've also decided to keep the space break and are making decoupled easier. So basically by easier, they mean you've got to hold a specific key for decoupled rather than a toggle. This I feel is probably going to be more useful for dogfighting and smaller ships, but larger ships may want the option to toggle the decoupled mode. So we'll see how that goes. Again, I'll try it for myself, see if it works for me. Uh, otherwise, I might look for a different method. Now also on ATV, we've got to look at Art Court and its moons. They've done some tests a while ago for the buildings and to see how they will look uh, over a landscape and make sure that they look interesting, but ultimately cover a large area. They also want it to blend well with other buildings. Uh, for the moons, Art Court's moons, this was the first time that they managed to build a moon from start to finish using the same tools without needing to create anything else. Walla, it took about four weeks to create. They did repurpose a lot of assets, but give it a bit more of a fresh look. Waller is dotted with crystals and minerals, which will bring color and unique materials to the moon. And Lyria, the other moon, is a pretty cold and unpleasant place, they say. Has a bit more variety in terms of landscape. It's got mountains, flat area, dark volcanic rocks and large frozen areas. One unique feature of Lyria is the cryo geysers, which show where the water had frozen as it burst through the terrain, which look very cool and very interesting. I would very much love to go and experience these places. I have done a separate video on the Moons and Art Core update. If you want to check that out, the link's below as well. But do let me know your thoughts on that, especially about the flight controls. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it really feels when we get it into our hands. Fingers crossed, it all works good. So also this week, we got a new law post titled Brothers in Arms. To celebrate Australia Day, every backer has access to the Gladius Valent. A great time to test out your dogfighting skills. For all subscribers, the latest jump point is available. For every backer who pledged before, the $200 million mark gets this free challenge coin hanger flare. And finally, there are two contests going on right now. One is a screenshot contest. To enter, you've got to get your best Gladius Valiant formation flights. And the other contest is to create a Tumbrel Cyclone commercial. So be sure to get your entries in. So that brings us to the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share the video with all your friends. If you like what I do and want to help me make it better, follow the link below to my Patreon page to learn more.